Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about the latest news in regards to Reading Football Club. Now nothing has been concrete and nothing is confirmed just yet but it does look as if Reading's potential takeover with Rob Kohig at the helm is set to be completed very soon. Now a very reliable source when it comes to any news in regards to Reading Football Club is Eddie Wallbank. Now Eddie has tweeted today uh, in regards to the potential takeover at Reading and said that I understand Stand, as has been reported, the takeover of Reading FC is imminent. Senior figures at the club are impressed with Kohig, who plans to improve the business and sell for a profit in the medium term. It is also worth noting that the EFL have been integral in keeping Reading afloat. It is understood they have been extremely lenient with the club due to the nature of the situation and ultimately have helped save the ding. Bending their own rules at times, credit where credit is due. Now, I've never said the EFL is the bad guy. I've always been sticking up for the EFL uh, in this situation. No, uh, obviously, in the past, obviously blaming the EFL for a lot of what has happened to Reading. But if it's true that they're there and they're out here bending rules and stuff to help Reading Football Club, a big fair play goes out to them. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and retract everything that I've said because some of the things I do believe are a little bit true, especially when you hear some of the comments made, especially from the head of the EFL. But if they're out there uh, bending the rules to help Reading survive just a little bit more and you know when it comes especially to I'm guessing things like profit and sustainability or, or when it comes to things like submitting accounts and things like that if they're out there helping Reading Football Club then a big fair play to the EFL. Now obviously it looks as if Reading's potential takeover will be happening soon. Now Rob Kohig obviously is the man who's set to be at the helm of that. Uh, the potential rumour as well is that it's in a deal with the uh, as part of a consortium uh, with obviously uh, Cheer on Sports being back in the mix so if they're involved uh, they potentially what are going to be the money men while we have Rob Kohig running day-to-day -day operations maybe with Joe Jacobson coming in that has also been a rumor that Joe Jacobson could come in as CEO uh, or at least of head of football operations something along the lines of that he was obviously a Wickham Wanderers legend and would have worked closely uh, with Rob Kohig I've seen from some Wickham fans that he's somebody that um, towards the end of his playing career was doing a degree in business finance uh, and was someone that was probably going to be looking to go into that side of the role uh, when it comes to football. Uh, he was probably looking to get into that side of the business, sorry, should we say. Uh, so yeah, obviously making a big step up straight away, going to Reading Football Club. Normally a first job something that's a little bit easier. Uh, and obviously when you've been at a club like Reading, uh, when you've seen what's happened over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of downs. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be uh, kind of hard to get them back on track and steady. Um, another thing as well uh, is obviously that Dai Young will no longer be involved with Reading Football Club and we would no longer have to deal with Dai Young Pang as well. The two clowns that have absolutely ruined Reading Football Club, potentially even uh, to a point where it could have been the end of Reading Football Club as an entity altogether. But look, it looks as if finally we're going to get an end to this. I'm not going to over-celebrate this and I'm not going to sit here and be all happy because 100% it's been confirmed because uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's confirmed because we've been here before where we spoke about deals that have been so close to being completed and then they never were as Dai Young has pushed the goalposts just a little bit further but this time it does feel like a little bit more that there is actually going to be a future for Reading and it feels like there, these owners potentially might be coming around. Rob Kohig obviously tweeting uh, the day before the Cardiff game, uh, sorry the QPR game uh, that he'd bought his Royals TV pass for the season and he's looking forward to cheering on the boys uh, so yeah look I feel like a man like Rob Kohig isn't like a William Story and wouldn't just tweet this to garner attention I feel like he's somebody that unless it's basically over the line I feel like that's why he would tweet things like that now obviously that's all the news that we've been brought so far it's just Eddie reporting on obviously what has been said the other piece of news as well uh, is that three Reading games have been selected for TV um, basically I've just got to kind of push the video just a little bit more just to make sure <laughs> there's enough for a video to actually put out uh, but two home games and one away game have been selected for TV Reading's game against Crawley and Bristol Rovers have both been selected for Sky Sports Plus TV coverage on 12.30 kickoffs and the same with Lincoln away on the 21st of December so I think that's quite poor when it comes to Sky Sports selection uh, is that they're going to create a 12.30 kickoff, especially around December uh, for Reading versus Lincoln, really close to Christmas, uh, 21st of December. And Reading Lincoln has been selected for TV coverage for a 12.30 kickoff. Not thinking about the fans there uh, were Sky Sports, but look, 
as someone that will probably have to work when it comes to that Saturday. I'm not going to complain. I feel like I'll watch the games anyway uh, with Royals TV. Um, but yeah, with Sky Sports Plus, obviously as a Sky TV paying customer, which I don't know why I do that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I will continue to still watch no matter what. But that's going to be it for this video today, guys. Listen, the takeover does seem like it's very close to being completed. And yeah, we're finally there at the end of the line. Apparently, Reading as well won't be able to make any signings just yet. I heard rumours as well going around uh, that signings won't be able to be made until the accounts have been submitted. Uh, this is obviously something that Reading have failed to do, uh, the accounts for the previous season. So yeah let's wait and see and uh, go from there but yeah hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of names through the door uh, Ruben Seles obviously is somebody that has said that he wouldn't stay if a takeover isn't close to being completed and look it looks as if it's being close to done so Ruben Seles will be staying for another year Reading have got a group of young hungry players which a lot of them are under the age of 25 and the players that are over the age of 25 all aren't significantly old if that makes sense they're uh, kind of at their prime of their football career so I feel like Reading are a team uh, that could be one to watch out for. I don't think they'll be uh, top favourites or top six or anything like that. I think they'll be uh, underdogs in a lot of games this year. And I think they'll be uh, dark horses, should I say, uh, for the rest of the league. Now, that's going to be it for this one today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been James. And yeah, we'll see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.